This is a recording of an MGB stub axle dismantling. Um, this is an MGB stub axle. The wheels would be attached here. Uh, this is the kingpin that runs through the middle and the uh, suspension would attach at the top and the lower wishbone would attach at the bottom. Sometimes called a swivel axle because the suspension and the lower wishbone keep the kingpin in place while the front wheel can swivel on its stub axle. Now quite often you buy these new um, or you get them in replacement for a part that you've already got. Um, I'm dismantling this one to restore it myself just uh, because I want to um, and it's a bit more satisfying doing it that way. Um, so uh, what I'm dismantling, I'll just show you on a diagram here. I've got a, something to point with. Uh, what we're showing here is the, um, this is the top trunnion where the the damper would attach. There's a number of uh, washers, thrust washers, a bush. Here is the housing of the stub axle. There's the stub axle itself. There's a dust tube here, um, which uh, keeps the dust out, as you might expect. Here's another bush down below, a different size than this one up here. Here's the kingpin, and here are the lever arms, sorry, the um, wishbone arms that attach to the bottom of the whole assembly. The wheel, as I say, fits on here, but we're not dealing with that today. So all we're going to do is take this apart. Um, I've loosened up some of these things. So this is the first thing you need to do is take out these bushes up at the top and take off this nut, which I've loosened just to make life a bit quicker on the camera. These bushes just need to be pulled out. I've taken the other side out. There's a metal sleeve, that's where the pin that goes through it would go through. Um, and these are all perished, as you can see. Uh, perished and unpleasant. So we'll be replacing those as a matter of course. Put that to one side. This nut at the top, this is a uh, 15 16 nut. Uh, I've loosened that using an air gun already, um, which just makes life a bit easier. Um, this is a nylock nut. I think there used to be, well, maybe not, there used to be a castle nut on the top in the old days, but perhaps not in this case. So there's our nut. We won't be using that again. That's going to go in the junk. Uh, next thing to do is to drive this pin, which runs all the way through here, out of the housing and to release this trunnion. And then underneath here, in this gap that you can see just about, there are some washers. The only really good way, oh, so the, you can also see, if you look through there, you can see that the pin has a, has a grooved, I've slightly loosened this already, so it's not quite an alignment, but you can see there's a groove, there's a groove for the bush to go through there. That's what keeps this facing that way. Um, so I'm just gonna, Put these things to one side and we're going to take a, an appropriate tool and hit it. So as you can see at the bottom the, uh, the pin is starting to come out, there's a rubber ring there. Um, the thing about these things is it's very important to keep them greased because that's the bearing surface there. Um, there's another bearing surface in here. There's a grease nipple here, there's a grease nipple here, and there's a grease nipple here. And in the olden days, before we had modern cars that didn't need regular maintenance, you had to grease these points because dirt and water would get in and wear away and rust the kingpin, uh, which is probably what's happened here if I clean this up a little bit. Well, in fact, that looks a bit pitted and cor corroded and rusty, to be honest. It should be shiny and new. Um, so that's why kingpin replacement is quite a regular thing. Um, I'm just going to get another extension and we can hit this out, hopefully. There we 
Okay. Put that to one side. So now, here is our top trunnion. I hope you can see that. There is a uh, well, there is a washer of some sort, a shim. Um, there's probably another one in here. Well, this is cast. This is a cast surface under here, so that's why you have these steel washers sandwiched either side of a brass washer. Hopefully you can see the, the gold colour of that. Uh, and that is, uh, that is uh, impregnated with grease. Actually grease should flow up as grease is injected in this nipple. It should come up here, come into this area and lubricate these three washers that are on the top of the kingpin. Um, obviously not much lubrication has been happening for some time in fact it's pretty dry in there and pretty rusty looking so regular greasing of these things is very important hopefully if we move these to one side keep cleaning as you go we should be able to pull this out of the housing nicely and there is our kingpin with its a uh, rubber ring on the bottom there. Here is the housing. You should be able to see right down there. And there are two different size bushes here and we'll be replacing both of these in a future video. The grease that's injected in this nipple here just flows around inside this bush. That's why it's so important. And it lubricates this surface here. Now, a new kingpin. looks like that and that is quite a lot different you can see that's a very shiny surface so in order to maintain that in a nice state lubricate every thousand miles so this is dismantled now we can just use a very small spanner move that to one side we can use a very small spanner to take these grease nipples off. There we go, we're not going to be reusing those. Because we need to clean through and make sure we replace it all. There's two of those there. One more grease nipple underneath here. Well, I might tackle that later. These bolts here, these bolts on the front, these hold a dust cover plate that goes behind the, uh, the disc, the brake disc. These bolts here hold the steering arm, which protrudes in this direction, and that's what your steering rack is connected to. Next part is to pull this down. This is the dust excluder tube and it's spring loaded. In fact, it just takes a bit of fiddling. You can see, just see the spring there. It's quite an expensive part to replace for what it is. So you, ideally you want to keep that and I'll be, looks like it's a bit of an old one. It's a bit pitted there. It's pretty dirty on this side and it's not very spring loaded anymore. Uh, well, that may be because of all the stuff that's attached to it. So I'm going to degrease that. Um, now we can see how the pin goes straight through the middle slightly better. Um, so at the bottom of here, this is the bottom, there's a ring that needs replacing. So that's going to be renewed. Um, and that's really that. I'll take these bolts off later, degrease all of this, um, and uh, blow all the grease out of these grease nipple holes. And then we'll paint it up with some hammerite. Final stage, back on the kingpin. Let's wipe up a bit here. Back on the kingpin, we don't need the hammer anymore. This rubber ring that's going in the dustbin. Um, this nipple needs to come off. These, this bolt that holds the bottom wishbone arms on, that needs to come out and we'll be replacing there would be normally a split pin through there holding that firm pull this out 
and inside we've got a spacer tube we will we could inspect that and maybe reinstall it but actually you get new bolts with new spacer tubes as part of a kit this thing here this is an assembly of three parts a rubber uh, a rubber seal which as you can see is slightly split inside here and there's a seal kind of support that clips around clips around the seal to keep give it some shape and then underneath there there's a flat washer um, so those are the three parts we probably won't reuse these we definitely won't reuse that but the object of this is to go over this end of the of the um, lower mounting so when grease is squeezed in here it flows round you may be able to see inside I just see you may be able to see a groove inside there perhaps maybe there's a groove that's visible possibly that's where the grease flows inside there goes round and round inevitably it's going to come out the end of this uh, and it needs to be held in by this arrangement of three things um, so that's that really um, this kingpin as you can see I bought a new one so I'm just going to throw this away uh, but it's interesting to see how what the effect this is very sticky brown rusty stuff um, actually the top bearing doesn't look too bad doesn't look too bad that it's a bit pitted there in places that side doesn't look too bad but we're just going to replace this and uh, make it new that's it for the moment these are the parts really here there's the trunnion there's the kingpin there's the trunnion here are the three thrust washers that were at the top at the bottom are these seals a distance tube goes through there with this bolt going right through on this side we've got that nut there you may not be able to see there we go so all of that goes in the bottom this dust excluder tube is down the middle and the whole lot runs that way all of this runs through the middle of that and that is it